What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Questions You Never Thought to Ask, the Whitewater Kayaking Podcast, episode 36, entitled A Small Language Change That Has Had a Big Impact on Me. My name is Seth Ashworth, and before we get started with the podcast this week, a little bit of housekeeping, two things to address. Firstly, I've got to say a big thank you, shout out to the people who support on Patreon. Patreon's a crowdfunding platform where you can chip in a couple of dollars every month and kind of help keep this podcast running, keep the lights on, and in exchange you get to listen to the podcast before they come out on general release. So a little bit of a kickback for you, a little bit of a kickback for me to kind of help keep things going. In supporting via that Patreon, it's uh, patreon.com slash Seth Ashworth. And all the information is on there. Secondly, I do have to issue an apology to everyone. Uh, This podcast is later than usual. I usually try and aim for one every month. Unfortunately, I just, I I failed. I didn't make it happen. I didn't manage my time correctly. I'm going to do better to try and schedule them up uh, in the future to be more on time. And so fingers crossed that will happen for the rest of this year. But I would like to say I'm sorry to to you guys the listeners for my um lack of organizational skills in this department i will endeavor to be better in the future so moving along to today's episode normally i try and do this podcast where i'm talking with someone else it's more of a conversation we're normally talking about some facet of kayaking which interests me or some facet of life which maybe pertains to kayaking which interests me um and I wanted to try and try a, a different format this week, a different style, something I've already prepared, um, and just see how that kind of vibes with with everyone here on the podcast. See if you dig it. See if you don't. See if it's a discussion starter or not. Um, I'll understand either way. I mean, hopefully uh, you'll you'll reach out to me and let me know if it was useful or not. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be uh, just me just me talking this week. So if you don't like the sound of my voice, I'm sorry, and you can tune in for future weeks. Um, I would probably also add that generally this podcast is a lot more lighthearted and fun and you may not find the subject matter as light or as fun for this one episode. Um, I promise it won't always be like this, but I just felt felt like this was an important one to to put out into, into the universe and just see how it goes. Yeah, here we go. A few weekends ago, I gathered with a group of my friends to celebrate the life of another kayaker, rough guide, rock climber, general good human being, Byron Corbett. Byron was someone I worked with at Wilderness Tours Ottawa Kayak School back when I started there in 2012. Although we were not super close, it was still important for me to gather with a few of my friends and remember him in one of our favourite places along the river. I've been to a lot of gatherings like this. The word celebration of life sounds a lot more palatable than memorial or funeral. I've probably been to an above average number of these in my lifetime. For a while in my early 20s, it was averaging one every 10 months. Thankfully, that number has reduced significantly in recent years, but each one carries an equally significant weight. I feel that weight. Pressing down on my shoulders, reminding me that our time here goes by all too quickly. Whilst I was reflecting on that earlier this week, I was thinking about an old blog post I'd written on my website back in 2016, right after the celebration of life of another friend of mine. And upon rereading it, I thought it might be useful to share on the podcast here to uh, to share with some different people who may not have heard it or may not have read it when I originally put it up there. And so today I'm going to be reading an, ep- an entrance from my website blog sethashworth.co.uk, which I did on July 3rd, 2016. I hope that it will promote some thoughts and discussions within you, and within the group of people you're listening with in this car ride or, or next time you're out on the river. And so here we go from July 3rd, 2016. On the longest day of the year, I attended a memorial of my friend Mark LeBlanc, who passed away in a skiing accident in Japan this winter. The memorial took place at sunset, right by the river. At the memorial, we shared stories of good times we'd had with Mark. He was an epic individual with one of the most memorable smiles of any person I've ever met. There were lots of stories from different adventures and misadventures 
that Mark had crammed into his into his life. A lot of life crammed into those years. As the sun set, Mark's family and friends moved down to the water's edge, where Mark's brothers and some friends had spent the week leading up to the event, building a huge funeral pyre to give Mark a Viking send-off, fitting of the personality that he was. Over 20 feet tall and full of a healthy amount of fireworks and accelerant, we used Roman candles to light it from the shore. The fire burned bright and hot and not nearly for long enough. A fitting tribute for a life that did the same. I belong to a kayaking community which is pushing the edge of what is possible. Harder, better, faster, stronger, bigger. It's a game of calculated risks, careful decision making, often with rapidly changing variables. Sometimes those variables don't pay off and the river wins. Although it might seem like kayaking is an individual sport, it isn't. Kayakers are always a team, always watching out for each other, often putting their lives, their lives into the hands of kayakers they hardly know. This builds strong relationships and fast. As a community of strong relationships, many of us are spread all over the world. And it's easy to lose track of where everybody is and what they're up to. Time flies and before you know it, you haven't seen one of these people for what turns into years, maybe longer. The more friends I lose and memorials I attend, makes me see more clearly that these relationships, these bonds of trust that many kayakers share, are one of the most important aspects of the paddling world. We are a big family and always on the move to a new adventure. The people with whom I trust my life to are always moving, so when I know they're in the area, I always do my best to try and check in with them. When it's time to part ways, I say the same thing. See you soon. Be safe out there. Although I am never quite sure how long it will be before I see these people again, saying these few simple words, see you soon, makes a big difference to me. It doesn't hold the ominous finality that goodbye has. In fact, I would rather roll the dice on see you soon, hoping for the best, rather than say goodbye and plan for the worst. I will save my goodbyes for the end. So I hope this has made you think a little bit about those things you say and the words you use. It's not a big change in language, but it was a big change for me. And I hope it makes you think a little bit and maybe you'll make the change too. I guess I will see you soon. Out.